Yo, what's happening everybody? King GBL here, and welcome back to a brand new Go Battle video. Today I'm going to be showcasing a really fun and strong team here in the uh, Sunshine Cup featuring Shadow Blaziken in the lead. Now obviously Shadow Blaziken is more of a meme pick, and we've got a lead here against uh, Vigoroth. As you can see, we've already got this down to like 50% health with 5 counters, and we're going to catch the Body Slam and Diggersby. Uh, similar to yesterday's video, Diggersby is here to eat all of the damage, this bulky bunny does not care, and in comes the Swambird. Once again, Diggersby does not care about anything, even a super effective Hydro Cannon is absolutely fine for this Pokemon. Uh, guys, before we hop into the video, I hope you're all having a fantastic day here. Uh, hit that like button if you haven't done so already, it really helps out the channel. And uh, do subscribe, we're getting pretty close to, uh, I think, 1.8k, so please go ahead and do so, and thank you very much for all the support in these videos. Um, we actually had Veteran with this team, um, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, finally, we got up to Veteran. We're just doing a quick notification check. And uh, we're going to go ahead and come in and Shadow uh, Blaziken down. That didn't really make any sense, but um, the opponent is going to come back in here probably with Vigoroth. And if they do, you're about to see the power of Blaziken. One, two, three, four, five. They cannot reach the Body Slam. And in comes an Obama Snow. I have already got the back-to-back -back loaded. Uh, in comes Blaze Kick number one. In comes Blaze Kick number two. And the opponent here, they either have to shield this or let this go and lose the match. Ladies and gents, we absolutely one shot with Blaze Kick. This Pokemon is difficult to run, as you can see in that uh, Vigoroth matchup. Like, you do actually have to get out of that match uh, a little bit or invest shields in it. So, you definitely, if you're going to run it in the lead, um, try to get off damage and then catch. Uh, do not stand against Noctile. You're going to see me playing really badly in some of these games. Um, and, you know, we'll go through that. It, again, this is like six o'clock in the morning. Um, whenever I first hop on, I'm like, yo, I'm one shotting things. This is great. But I'm still a little bit tired and playing stupidly. The opponent farms up to 11, and that leaves me in a really bad position, actually. That means I've got uh, pretty much it's 5, 4, and 5 for mud, uh, mud Bombs. So basically, they almost have three Mud Bombs loaded, which is really bad. Uh, Noctil comes in here, and we're going to go ahead and just spam out the uh, Fire Punches. You can win this in even shielding. Um, and I'm thinking here, like, do I kind of need to keep Diggersby alive? I was actually kind of tempted just to um, double shield Diggersby here. Even though, like, this is not super threatening. And try to keep health in Diggersby. Because apart from Diggersby, like, what am I supposed to deal with Stunfisk with? So I think in hindsight, I probably could have shielded this one right here. And even shielded up the next one. Um, I think keeping that health in Diggersby would have been vital. The opponent would have had to go for Mud Bombs. So maybe con could have considered. But the opponent does shield here, so this is actually quite decent now. Um, there is a chance we can win this because the opponent's shielding. And I'm thinking, like, you know, even though uh, we're getting super effective done against this, if we can just farm up a little bit extra... We can win CMP on the, um, the Stunfisk, and look to maybe just get off multiple moves. Um, so we do CMP the first one here. I know the opponent has back-to-back -back loaded. We fire off the first Blaze Kick, and we're going to swap straight out after this next one. Um, I'm expecting the opponent just to fire the back-to-back -back here. Mud Bomb's coming through, and they're actually over-farming to like the back-to-back -back again. It will take two Discharges to take out Noctile, so we can let one of these go, and we're just hoping that this thing lets us take him out, because, yeah, they dip out with energy, and this is just so awkward now. Um, of course, in comes Vigoroth. I'm thinking, like, if I can maybe get a shield off this, it is winnable, potentially. But, like, it's it's looking real rough here, folks. It's looking real rough. I think I actually shield this because I kind of need to, um, you know, go for a sky attack and then get a farm down. Um, do I undercharge this or anything? Yeah, I just fully charge it, which is kind of stupid. Um, but the thing is, the opponent shields it, which is quite nice. And at this point, the opponent CMPs us on the sky attack, which is probably about the best possible thing I could hope for. Now, here's the thing. Shadow Blaziken does so much damage. One, two, three. The opponent gets off a move anyway, which is kind of annoying. But even if we do live this, like, we're only getting three counters for in this thing. Um, so, like, we're not even going to get to a move on the mud, uh, the mud boy, the, uh, stun fisk. So, GG's to the opponent there. I don't think I played that match too badly. I was trying to do a catch, trying to dance around the, uh, difficult Pokemon. But just unfortunately, with Shadow Blaziken, even with two bulky Pokemon in the back, you're still in a little bit of a rough situation if the opponent gets ahead in energy. So usually when I record these videos, I play for a couple of matches and I'm like, is this going to be any good? And if this turns out to like start losing the Elo, I just swap out. The opponent's got a Breloom and they come in. This is a mistake. Why am I staying in? Why am I staying in here? Get straight out of here. I mean, I do get a Blaze kick off and um, we're going ahead and swap out to Noctile eventually here. I did not know what to swap into, but if the opponent swaps in, like, let's say a Noctile or a Gliscor, um, I believe you can beat it with either Pokemon, I, I think. Um, if you just go even shields, I think that should be fine. Noctile does more damage. I I'm not sure if, if this is just close. I don't really know the Sims on this matchup, I'm going to be com completely honest with you. Um, but I would say just go straight into Noctile. Um, especially because they have a Breloom in the lead. You could maybe, actually, because they have a Breloom in the lead, you could maybe go into Diggersby. Because, uh, you know, of course the counters will add up on Diggersby and they'll know grass and fighting type moves. So I think Diggersby would have been the correct swap there. Um, even if you lose the match, you'll maybe get a shield. And you're basically getting rid of one of your weaknesses. So yeah, keep the Noctile for the Breloom and get rid of one of your weaknesses. That's kind of what you want to do on swap if possible. 
Even though I overtapped, I got off the sky attack at least. <laughs> Not so bulky. I was really happy to get that move off because that shield is pretty vital for us. And with, of course, uh, Blaziken and Diggersby in the back. Now, what I'm trying to do here is just over farm if possible. I don't want to throw my move straight away because I don't want the Berlin to come back in. Yeah, so they do come straight in. And in comes the Fire Punch, bro. I was tempted to run Berlin in one of these recent metas. And this is why I wasn't going to run it. Um, in comes Noctile, the top left. I was going to come in and just go for the counter down with Shadow Blaziken. Here's a fun fact. You can match shields and basically counter down a Noctile. And you can beat um, Swambert in even shielding scenarios, I think, with Shadow Blaziken just countering it straight down. So if you have to, you can possibly do that. Look how much damage we're doing to the Steelix. Now this move is just going to be a Psychic Fangs, but it would be super effective. So I'm going to throw after one here, get off a Blaze Kick, and most likely uh, dip into Diggersby or something here. So we fire off the Blaze Kick. I maybe could have just considered staying in here because I let the Steelix get away. And in comes a Bloody Victory Bell going for the Razor Leaf. And um, this is absolutely fine for Diggersby though. Fire Punch number one. And as you can see, like they're not going to get to a move. Um, if they do shield, this will be perfect, but um, I'll be happy enough just to get rid of this thing. I think the opponent's basically sacrificing the Victory Bell, um, which is a good sacrifice by them. Can we get to the Fire Punch? We cannot. But this leaves us in a really good position to come in and counter down with um, Blaziken and look to get a move off and whatever's in the back. We do get the counter down. That done so much damage to us. And in comes Nidoqueen. I just go straight for the um, Blaze Kick because the opponent basically has to shield anything off this Pokemon. And in comes Noctile. Now, I'm not sure if the opponent actually did farm up towards the Stone Edge, but we decided to let this first one go here. Um, just thinking they're going to go for a Poison Fang. It is a Poison Fang, and we're going ahead and get a Sky Attack off. Now, at this point, if we land a Sky Attack, which of course we will, um, this will put the opponent in a range where they just can't really do anything. Um, even if they do build up um, and, you know, bait again, and um, we're just basically pacing the same to Poison uh, Fangs. So, like, Nidoqueen is just a little bit too nerfed, in my opinion. Let me know in the comments, guys. Would you like to see Nidoqueen come back to its former glory a little bit? I think it's not an overpowered Pokemon at all, like, it's weak to ice, it's weak to grass, somewhat, or well, it's neutral to grass, of course, with the poison typing. Super weak to Swampert and water types. I think there's no problem with Nidoqueen with, you know, the normal, uh, poison fang. But in comes Noctile. Um, I stay in here, just do one counter and swap out. In comes Obstagoon, so I'm like, right, we're going to feast on this thing. And what I decide to do is go for the Earthquake. You'll see me doing this quite a lot with Diggersby. Um, like, even if you're gonna lose, just go straight Earthquake and threaten a ton of damage. Um, the Obstagoon is farming up an absolute ton here. I'm happy to eat anything, I'm not shielding anything in Diggersby. I'm thinking they might be running like Night Slash and Gunk Shot or something. Um, we're going ahead and fire off the uh, Fire Punch here, that takes them out. So I was actually surprised to take Switch there, I thought I would get cross chopped. And in comes a Vigoroth. Now the thing is, they're going to get a counter down. And Blaziken is really thirsty for shields. Um, Blaziken's like the opposite of Vigoroth, where it's like, I maybe could have considered swapping out here as well, just going for the aggro swap. But I wanted to maintain alignment if possible here. Um, but anyway, we're going to come in with Noctowl. How you see, you thought I was going to come in with Blaziken. No, I want to eat the damage on this thing first, and then come into Blaziken. Um, we do come in, and it is Noctowl. And again, as I was saying, like, they're ahead on energy now, which is kind of rough. Um, but I can match shields here and just counter this down pretty hard. Um, we're going to go on ahead and just get as many of these for as possible. And we're going to, go going to go on ahead and go for the Blaze Kick. The sad thing is, you don't outpace with Blaze Kicks against the Sky Attack. Um, the opponent actually uh, froze here. I actually maybe could have shielded this and went for another Blaze Kick. I think that would have been slightly better there, actually. Because, like, the opponent's going to outpace to, uh, they actually win CMP. So if I had have just went for the Blaze Kick right there, I would have maybe taken the opponent's final shield. And, actually, I didn't realise that mistake at the time, but watching it back, that was a mistake. I go for an undercharge here, trying to get an extra couple of wing attacks. The opponent doesn't let it happen. But in any case, they have a Body Slam loaded, and they're going to be able to outpace easily here. The opponent still has a shield. So, uh, maybe if I had have done that and got the shield off the opponent, um, got an extra counter for you, and then maybe ate the Sky Attack. But we went free too anyway, but... Um, I think I could have played that slightly better. So I'm claiming my rewards. I'm like, please, it's 24.96. Um, I know, like, a veteran's not, like, a really high rank, right? But I had veteran for the first time last season. And uh, this season, I wanted to make a push towards expert. But I've just had such a rough time of it where it's, like, I've almost lost belief in my own uh, ability to some extent where it's, like, oh, man, I thought I was going to, like, push on here a little bit this season. Um, so hitting veteran, it is kind of a relief for me. Um, especially because I make videos now and, like, I don't want people to think, oh, look at this guy, can't even hit Veteran. What a bot. What an absolute bot. So, I'm um, not trying to be an absolute bot out here. So, it definitely was quite nice to hit it, and we're only four points off here at this point. Of course, I will make a push towards Expert now, but here's a, a very interesting match. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, the opponent is obviously expecting a catch here, and I expected that they would be expecting that. That's why I stayed in here and went for the Blaze Kick. Now, we're going to go for the catch. Now, here's the thing, guys. Um, they're already up to, I think, eight mod shots. And they throw maybe one and another Hydro, one and another Hydro. And this will actually take out the Noctile. So this is not comfortable anymore. Um, so yeah, in comes their own Noctile. 
The good thing is the Swampert's dumped all of their energy, but if you basically double shield, you can counter through the, um, the Swampert. I was really not trying to, like, you know, burn shields too crazily with, um, Blaziken, because I feel like when you're using a Pokemon like that, um, it's often good to eat damage on things, but this is looking really bad. I've got a Swampert in the back, I've got a Diggersby in the front, um, I just have to basically eat all these moves. I come in to go for the aggressive counter down and try to get off a Blaze Kick. I'm trying to get some sort of use out of uh, Blaziken here. And at this point, we're going to go for a counter down. So we've already done like some damage to the Swampert. Um, and in comes a Grove, so it's like, yep, GG's. I'm going to fire off the Earthquake and the bloody catch it on the Swampert as well. I'm like, no, bro, no. St please stop. Please stop. You're just absolutely pooping all over me here. Um, I think I should be top lefting here. I think that's the correct play at this point. The opponent's going to go for a Body Slam. I do shield it up, thinking like maybe I can get... They've got Brick Break as well. I'm, I'm thinking maybe I can get to another move, but it's just not happening here, folks. This is definitely looking a little bit rough, and the opponent will get the counter down. Um, so GG to the opponent. I don't think there was a whole lot I could have done there, to be honest. Um, except for just maybe use something, except for Shadow Blaziken. This Pokemon's a ton of fun to use in the correct situations, but it is super, super risky, super shield thirsty. And yeah, it's... To be honest with you, like, I would not really recommend using it. Um, just enjoy this video, have a look at it, and, you know, just enjoy watching the gameplay, but if you're trying to gain ELO or trying to actually play well, I don't think I would recommend this Pokemon to you, to be completely honest. Um, so in comes the next match, Blaziken versus Noctowl. Um, again, this is not looking great. I think, okay, I swapped straight out this time, and in comes uh, Vigoroof. See, I'm actually happy with this match, right? They'll get off a couple of body slams to take me out, but in that time, I'll be able to get off an Earthquake, and if they don't fire off the third body slam, I'll be able to get off a Fire Punch as well. So, like, I'm completely fine with this. Um, we can get this really, really low and get it into a counter down. But even better, we get the shield off the opponent. And I think at this point, I actually might shield here and get off another Earthquake. Um, the opponent goes for another Body Slam. We just about to get to that Earthquake in time. Um, I wonder, could the opponent, uh, the opponent are through there? Um, they will actually just let that go. And I think, yeah, we actually managed to knock it out, which is amazing. Um, can we get off a Fire Punch? We cannot. But we will come into our own Noctile here. So what I'm really hoping for at this point is that they've got something really weak to Blaziken in the back. Um, we've got the Noctile out here, which is perfect. So at least I know that like the hardest counter is out on the field here. And at this point, um, you know, I'm just hoping we can take whatever's in back. Um, we get off Sky Attacks here. We get them into the yellow first. In comes a double. One, two, three, four, five. See, you're seeing the problem with Blaziken here, right? There's so many like spammy Pokemon like double. They go for the wild charge. So I'm like, right, I can actually counter you down now. Absolute mad lad. And I think we just go for Blaze Kick here on CMP, um, which is amazing because the opponent has to throw energy. And they go on ahead and throw it. And at this point, this is not even over yet because look, look at the healths right here. Um, like one Sky Attack is going to not quite take this out. And if they can throw me down enough, they might be able to take me out with the Sky Attack. So it's a bit of a race here. One, two, I was almost in Sky Attack range, I think. And I think I might have just survived it, but it was definitely getting a little bit close. So, you know, like I said, Shadow Blaze again is just here for memes only. Um, so, like, if you want to actually run, you know, run a good team that will build you up ELO, um, yesterday's video was a really good one. It gained 120 ELO for me. Um, I was on 2360. I'm up to 2480 with that team. And I just uh, got over a veteran with this one. Um, pretty bad lead here. Do I throw, like, one counter or do I just dip straight out? I stay in here for a minute, which is just, like, I'm playing this so weirdly. I decided to try and catch a Sky Attack. So, that was my thinking. Just try to get a, a Blaze Kick loaded. And that energy could be really valuable later. You don't really want to do that against Noctowl, but I thought I might as well give it a try. Because, you know, I wanted to see what was the, the best way to play this Pokemon. Um, it puts us into, like, half health, though. And, yeah, you just don't want to do that with Blaziken. To be fair, like, we're still in the green, so it's okay. I could maybe consider shielding this up. But I think what I decided to do is come in and get a counter down with Blaziken. The opponent actually undercharges that, I think. And uh, we go ahead and get off a Fire Punch. I think the opponent did not want us to get a counter down. And that's why they've done that. In comes Noctowl, they get the, the Wing Attack down. And this is where it is a little bit awkward with um, Blaziken. We pretty much just have to come in with Noctowl. We have the health advantage and we just need to try and take this thing out. Um, this is definitely our biggest threat. And if we can get this uh, out of the match, we can just hope that they have like an Obstagoon or um, something in the back that Blaziken can deal with. I think I invest one shield into this Pokemon here because I do want to keep it alive. I think my play here is to go for a Sky Attack. And then I'll be actually happy just to go in and go for a Counter Down with Blaziken or go for a Blaze Kick with it. And um, the opponent lets it go, I go in for the counter down. <laughs> Absolutely punch that little all out of here. And in comes their own blaze again. I'm just going to go straight for the Brave Bird. It'll basically guarantee the shield, knock out, and it'll give them less counters to uh, get farm, which is perfect. That's done a lot of damage, and at this point, um, the opponent's going to have to get up to back-to-back -to -back, uh, blaze kicks. Can they do it, folks? 
I actually thought they were going to reach this, um, so we'll see if they are at the back to back here. Blaze Kick 1 comes through, and this next uh, wing attack will take them out. Super, super close. Um, I think the opponent might have been just really close to the move, or just at the move. It's funny, that's the first Blaziken I've seen, and of course it is whenever I'm running my own Blaziken, so you love to see that. <laughs> Blaziken's lurking in the back. Definitely a bit of a funny one to see, and let's hop into this next match. Um, so we have a really good lead, Macargo. We will just rip this thing to shreds, and I stay in here for a minute against Nidoqueen. Again, like, I don't need to get this move off of Nidoqueen, this is just a waste. But I think this actually might get a shield off the opponent, so this could be fine. And the opponent is shielded, and at this point we can come into Noctowl. So I'm coming into Noctowl because Macargo destroys Noctowl. And I actually shield this, which is bad. Because I thought it might be the Stone Edge. I've got Stone Edge a couple of times with Nidoqueen. And like even though it's a bad matchup, I, like I do want to try and take Switch here. And at least keep my uh, Pokemon lined up properly. Um, the opponent's probably going to go for another Poison Fang. At this point, I was willing just to let it go. And will the opponent get off another move? They just about don't. Um, in comes their uh, Macargo. And they're of course just going to smack us down here or rock throw us down. If I had of no shield at that, would I have been able to take Switch? I wonder. Um, in comes their own Noctowl, and why am I staying in here for so long? Like, this is what I'm saying, uh, like, I am playing so badly here. You do not say I'm with Blaziken ever, right? Like, unless it's a positive match, you, you get straight out. Um, so that's definitely my mistake. Now this bloody thing's invisible, and it's like, right, well, whatever at this point. I'm probably gonna lose this one. Um, we are getting this quite low, and we're getting it close to, uh, Fire Punch range. But, yeah, I've definitely made a, a pig's ear of this match. I've, I've made a pig's ear of it. Um, can we get off the back-to-back -back fire punches at least? That would be quite nice. Take it out and uh, threaten to maybe look to take out the Macargo. Can we even get this farm down? That would be quite nice. And yeah, this is looking really, really rough here. Let's get that coming through. I come in to try and get ahead in energy. And I don't... I actually can't get off my Blaze Kick. I should have been able to get that off, um, but the game definitely lagged there, which is quite annoying. Um, I go straight for a fire punch because I think they're like just out of move. I don't know why I even bother going for a fire punch. Um, they do finally get to a move here, um, which is most likely the overheat. And that's going to take us out. So my mistake in that match was staying in with Blaziken for too long against a couple of things. Um, I just needed to keep it on full health. And definitely a huge misplay on my part. Um, so you're seeing me, like like I said, I notice whenever I play my games in the afternoon, I play a lot better. Um, so that's something I'm trying to do here in the next little while. Um, Blaziken versus Blaziken. We're getting all the Blazikens now. Um, let's see who can win this one. A Shadow Blaziken here. Um, it looks like we're getting them deeper into the yellow first. And um, we're going to go for Blaze Kick, try and get a shield off the opponent. And let me see, can we actually get the simul KO here? This is perfect, guys. This is absolutely perfect. Um, is that the advantage of having a shadow? But this is absolutely perfect. Now, I actually messed up here. They swapped in their Macargo first, and I didn't go into my Diggers Beam. So again, this is me making uh, a bit of a misplay here. Um, I just basically let the, the thing run down. Um, they actually swapped in first, and if I was a little bit quicker on the reaction, um, I decided to finally swap into Diggers Beam here. I'm going to just let this go. Even if it is an overheat, I'll just take it. And they go for the Rock Tomb Bait, which of course is to try and debuff my attack. And I'm just going to go straight for the Earthquake on this thing. The opponent's win condition is to try and call a bait. So we're going to go ahead and fire this straight off. They do let it go. And in comes a Steelix in the back. So this is looking like a very uh, winnable match. But this is not like completely straightforward. And at this point, I'm willing to double shield my Diggers Beam. Um, I thought they might go for a Psychic Fangs. But I thought, okay, maybe they're just going to go for like a win condition. Try to land a Crunch. And me thinking it would be a Psychic Fangs. Now, even if this is just a Psychic Fangs, I have to shield up basically everything at this point. So we'll shield up this one. Basically have to shield everything. And I'm going to look to pivot into Noctile to try and get off a, a Shadow Ball if possible. We do get off a Shadow Ball on bad timing, which is perfect. I'm not perfect, of course, but it's it's acceptable. You just want to get that move off at any cost. And the opponent is going to go for a full farm down. Now, I think at this point, guys, the opponent definitely, definitely has a move. Uh, I'm not sure why they didn't throw this move. <laughs> I'm thinking, like, does this opponent know me? Or something, or were they just not quite at the crunch? I feel like the opponent should have been at the crunch, and we do go free two there. I was thinking there, the opponent either had laggy charge moves, where they couldn't throw their charge move, or the opponent knows me and let me win. I'm not 100% sure there, but if that is you, thank you very much for letting me win, or sorry that you got that. And we hit veteran, guys, I'm really happy with it. I'm not going to be using any more Shadow Blaze again in this cup, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.